This is Herbie Reborn. He has a sonar arranging system that you see on top of his battery pack. That right there is an emitter and a receiver. It emits a 40 kilohertz pulse, reflects off of the surrounding objects, and then is received. And he can measure distance with it. It's a sonar arranging system. He also still has incorporated the uh, CAD cells, cadmium sulfide cells, that have resistance that's inversely proportional to the uh, quantity of light that is striking the surface. Currently they're pointed down at the ground so that he can detect patches of light and that's why he is <clears throat> has such an affinity for this patch of light. Now, Herbie could run into a problem here coming up against this door depending on which sensor has more light striking it he's just about to go into a subroutine and he's actually going to crash because he's not used to having light up against the wall and you can kind of detect that so we'll put him over here we'll put him facing away from the patch of light just for scientific purposes and we'll notice that he is turning towards the patch because he sees that there's more light over here and since he's attracted to light naturally he will drive towards the light and uh, a couple other new principles of Herbie is um, he now has the front drive wheels rather than the rear ones and his rear skid has less friction because it's being dragged pulled and not pushed so he can overcome obstacles with relative ease now and um... there he goes into the light patch since the light's coming in at an angle, kind of has difficulty discerning which side's brighter, so he kind of goes in at an angle and then realizes that it's dark over there and starts turning around. As you can see, he'll make his way back in. Now, there's one component of Herbie that has been removed, and that is his, um, top center CAD cell that detects ambient light in a room and uh, or, or light that is striking the top of a vehicle and that CAD cell is for um, charging purposes and oops, see he detected the door and he may clear it no he's not going to Bad for Herbie. This obstacle for him is quite difficult. Anyway, uh, his uh, charge subroutine cat cell has been removed for purposes of free run, just to study his behavior. Ordinarily, when he got into a patch of sunlight of this intensity, he would go into his charging subroutine, and then he would shut down and. Uh, charge as if he had solar panels, which he doesn't at this point. He needs a new chassis before he can get solar panels. He's far too uh, light duty right now and cobbled together with hot glue and cardboard and film canisters to support a charge controller and photovoltaic panels. But eventually when he gets more heavy duty chassis, we'll put a nice drive mechanism in there and speed control with CMOS motor controllers so it can go forward and reverse so when he uh, encounters a ledge or a drop off he can go into reverse and execute a turn and maybe even store that point as a place that he shouldn't go in the future but uh... yeah he's going back into the light and he has pretty good behavior probably the best program that he that he has 
so far. There he goes. Back into the light, Herbie. Back into the light. Oh, good, Herbie. Such a light-loving robot. 